Gaz in Brisbane, Australia, writes to me and he says, Good day, Paul. I'm sure, I'm, sure you, I'm sure I'm not doing your Australian accent uh, any good here. Uh, thanks for all your great videos. You're certainly welcome, sir. You're always my first port of call for all things YouTube. <laughs> I'm honored. Uh, this might seem like a stupid question. No worries. So don't hold back on your response. I never do. Uh, I have a dedicated CD player with internal DAC specs listed as a 32-bit 768 kilohertz AKM. This is connected to an integrated amplifier with an internal DAC specs listed as a 24-bit 192 kilohertz Cirrus Logic uh, CS4398. My question is, if I'm listening to CD music from speakers, which DAC am I listening to? Knock yourself out and don't be too brutal. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> you, you, you are listening to the 24-bit Cirrus Logic because the CD player, while it has, frankly, a better DAC built in to uh, its, its internals, when you take the digital output of that CD player and plug that into your, uh, whatever it is, what do you got here, your uh, external DAC, that's never going through the internal DAC. It's still in the digital domain. So, um, so that so yeah. So you're listening to the the other DAC. It, the only way you're going to be able to hear that AKM DAC, the 32-bit AKM, is by plugging into the analog outputs of your CD player, and then that's what you'll get. Uh, a bit of a sad story, though, I will tell you. AKM, which is one of my favorite. Now we don't use any of their parts, uh, but we had we'd been eyeing them for quite a while. They they make wonderfully sounding DACs and ADCs. They're a Japanese company. And just recently, maybe six months ago, there was a terrible fire in AKM's plant and it wiped the entire thing out. I mean, these guys made bazillions of ADCs and DAC chips, some of the best in the world. And it burned. I think it was the second and third floor. You, you can look it up but terrible blow and a loss to the audio world. And, oh boy, I mean, yeah. Anyway, so very sad, AKM burned down. I know they're gonna rebuild it, but that, that just takes forever. And the funny, funny, the odd thing is that we don't see more of those. Semiconductor manufacturing is, uses a ton of hazardous chemicals and you'd think it's, it's You'd think that because of the manufacturing process that you'd see a lot more of this, and, but we don't, thankfully. But this one got out of control. And then just recently another one happened in Japan also, but they made a lot of chips for cars and, and um, there's big trouble on the semiconductor horizon. Anyway, so yep, there you go. All right, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.